Today we are looking at player of the month booth. He is a five foot nine, medium, medium, three star, four star. Can play centre mid or cam. He's got amazing agility and balance. Really good ball control and dribbling. Fantastic short pass and long pass. Good shot power, not the best finishing, but also very good acceleration and sprint speed. We've gone for an engine today, and I'll cover that a little bit more at the end as I turn my camera on now. And as you can see here, only injury prone. So we're going to jump into a game. We're going to play in the 4 2 We're going to play him as the right cam, sort of playing up front and CM and sort of cam position all together. We'll talk about chem styles pricing and much more at the end of the review on Footbin. That being said, let's have a word from today's sponsor, Jump Into Gameplay. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Knife, select Foot, select Foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method, and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. So we're joining the game halfway through here. I've just got used to the booth at the moment. He's got himself a handful of goals and assists. He's really, really good at getting into this pocket of space here. And basically driving through. We get him on the edge. Little left stick dribbling. Got absolutely fouled there. Not given. A couple of things I will say about him though. He's not exactly top level. Because of being 84 rated. But this is where he's best at. Little touch in. And look at the weighted pass there. Perfect. And we got an assist with him. That's something he brings that I'm finding very, very good about him. Yes, he is lacking. And no, I don't expect him to be in your foot champs teams. I don't really expect him to be in the top tier of rivals. But there's a reason to do this card. And again, I'll cover it a little bit more on Footbin at the end. But his ability to open up objectives. If you've got an Eredivisie team, he didn't take kudos, for example, from the storyline or any of the other SBCs. There's a shout to do. Because he's so good at sitting in the pocket here. His finishing is very, very good. So you see there, straight away into the finesse, into a cross goal there. And he's got himself already a handful of, hat -trick, uh, sorry, handful of goals and a handful of assists. There's something I like about this card. If you like left stick dribbling and you're looking for that MLS player, or sorry, Eredivisie player, I should say, he's going to help you out massively in that situation. But I'm not sure on the price, to be honest with you. If this card was on the market, I think it would be a couple thousand coins, if that, if you're lucky. But what he offers, though, he's very, very good. We are playing him in a role where he's a midfielder and plays up front as well. So we get to try out his finishing, his passing ability, and much more. We'll move here. If we find him, we can. We'll touch in. Oh, the lazy layoff. And again, his strength is surprisingly very, very good. As you can see how we held off, laid the ball off perfectly. We are using our Eredivisie team. I didn't use this in Rivals today. I just don't think, unfortunately, looking at the card, at this time of year, the stats are good enough. But in terms of objectives, as you can see, sitting on last man again. I'm very unlucky to get to him. Very, very good. It's going to help you a lot. He's going to be very easy to grind over 30 days as well, I will say. Got Booth there running through. He's got Gap at the bottom. Lovely little touch in. Back to Booth if we can. That was a good pass with a good tackle. But we do win to win the tackle there. And I don't mind him fighting for the badge. That is half time. Like I said, you've only joined halfway through the game. I wanted to get a feel with him first before I jump straight into the review. Our opponent is very, very bad, I have to say. But again, I'm not going to use this card in top division, unfortunately. See there? Three goals, five assists. We're playing him as a striker, but in this formation. He swaps with our Burkhoist and our Simon. So he sort of plays in a three-roll rotating round. A couple of things i say about the card. He's had 21 dribbles, 16 complete. He surprised me how quick he is on the ball. Because of that high agility and balance, he offers you a lot in that sense. Shooting's quite good. Four shots, three goals. Can't complain. Across goal and finesses. Passing's where he outstuns everybody. He's had 14 passes, 14 complete. He hasn't missed a pass. And he's just been very, very solid. We're going to jump into the second half. I'm probably going to show you a couple more goals, but there's only so many goals and stuff I can show you. And then we'll jump onto Footbin and I'll give a full breakdown of the card. And the reasons why you should and the reasons why you shouldn't do it. We're going to wait, going to hold it up, play it out wide. Here's Booth. Little layoff across. And that's exactly where we want him to be. The link-up play, he's so influential in your attack. Especially when you've got somebody giving you as much space as this in the midfield. He's just going to fire us in this situation. As we go counter-attack, looking for Booth. He's already peeling off. The hard ball is on his own here against Rudiger. Pills away. This is what I said about his pace. Get the shot off and a great finish. I think we've seen enough goals. There's only so many times I can show you assists and goals. That really highlights what the card's best at doing, peeling away. Let's go jump onto Footbin. So we are on Footbin. It's coming at 12,000 coins. And that is a good price for an SBC. If this was the beginning of the game, he'll be a definite buy. But we have to consider the fact that it is now basically Christmas or December time. An 84 rated card doesn't help you in many ways. If you were to compare him to his base, he's had an absolutely massive upgrade. 19, 20 boosts on a lot of stats there. 
We went for an engine. I do feel like you could possibly go Hunter on him to really increase that finishing and his shot power. But because his shot power is so high, you get a shot on target, you're going to score at 9 out of 10 times. So I actually went for an engine when I find it. And the reason why I went for an engine was to really just maximize his agility, his balance, his, par uh, his pace, sorry, and his passing. Because I like strikers that can pass or cams that can pass. He can play cam. He can play the secondary striker. In terms of Eredivisie midfielders, we've got so many. So you see, people don't really know what to go from is between a Hunter, an Engine, or a Marksman. I do like the card. Do I think it's going to go into your team? Probably not. It will be fantastic for your Eredivisie team, that is for sure. It's going to offer you a lot in that sort of sense. If you haven't done Kudos from the actual objective that came out, you're going to have a lovely little card there to do, or the storyline even. But where to go to leagues now and go to top five, it's not going to be there. So let me go to Eredivisie. And we'll have a look at the midfielders that are available. So we've got Berkhoist, who was an SBC. Berkwin, who was an SBC. You've still got the uh, Salvio, who's still out now. Gakpo was a player of the month. Klassen, you can't get. Then we go down a little bit further. We've got ourselves some 84s. We've got some of the foundation cards. We've got Kudos from the storyline, as I mentioned. So you have got yourself a lot of cards still available if you need to get the midfielder. Especially the Bazoi, or whatever his name is. Bazoa. And you've got Kassen. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. But you've got those choices as well. So it depends if you want a first owner American player. Because they are going to help you with icon swaps at some point. Especially Eredivisie and USA. He can tick two boxes off at the same time. But in terms of what the actual SBC offers. I don't know if it's a must complete if I'm being honest with you. It's great for your Eredivisie team. It's great for something to do along those lines. Only 12,000 coins. You can't really complain too much. But you'll have to let me know in the comment section if he's going to go into your team. He's going to stay in my Eredivisie team. I'll show you my Eredivisie team now as we back off for one second. You can see how crazy it is from just doing every SBC that's come out. And also how many special cards you get in that position. Plus what we're going to get in the future. So you can see here, we've got Klaassen. We've got Berkhoise. Then on our bench, we've got some of the other boys here. We've got the Kudos that I've mentioned. And he was actually free on the storyline. So it's up to you, really. They're very, very similar what they offer. It just depends what you want for your team. But as always, if you have any questions, comment down below. If you are new to the channel, consider hitting that like button, subscribing. Catch you in the next one. See ya.